Yo, what's up guys? So we're here checking out the new ban list taking place on April 7th of 2019 for the TCG. If you guys want to check out the full list, I'll have it linked down below, but it's just the Yu-Gi-Oh card website. Let's go ahead and check it out. So first off, let's go ahead and see when the next ban list is coming out. So the next ban list it says will be updated no sooner than September 4th. So it's going to be quite some time before we get that newer list in. But Let's go ahead and get it, boys. So, first off, things that are banned. Ash Blossom. Wow, I did not expect that. But then again, you know, they always reprint cards. And then when we get excited, we get the reprints. And then they're like, short printed, by the way. And then they're like, yo, it's just banned. Okay. Well, that's that's unfortunate. But at the same time, I mean, now that everyone has them, I don't know. Uh, next up, though, uh, things that are banned. We have Danger Jackalope. Okay. And then the Danger, and we'll call him Snake Boy because ain't nobody pronouncing that correct. So that's pretty interesting. Dangers are very, very top tier as far as the deck. You can throw them in, that and Sky Strikers. I think a lot of people are sick of those. They decided to hit the small monster. So, I mean, they only had two of them, unless some of them uh, got semi-limited or whatever. I mean, I still think that's pretty, it's viable to play, but obviously those two are gonna hurt uh, quite a bit on this ban list. But in addition to that, uh, next thing, uh, over here we have uh, Love Leader still banned. Okay, Kirian still banned. Mercurio, <laughs> I never come back. Whoa, mind you, of the ten thousand hands, wow, I did not expect that. That is a card that was uh, for so long. It doesn't that you know that doesn't make any sense at all because if you guys didn't know, they're reprinting a bunch of the Necroz cards in uh, dual power. And then they're just going to get rid of like one of the best searchers for any ritual based deck. I think what they're trying to get to us to play is maybe the incantations. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's, let's see what else the list looks like. But like that's a very strange move for like I would say even like business purposes. Next up, Zephyrin, Secret of the Yang Zing, also now banned. I, I covered this card in a few combos. Like there's so many cards off of like basically the Zephyr engine that make like a, a, a I automatically win board. In the TCG, I haven't seen really anyone utilizing it. In the OCG, if you guys didn't know, Zephra has been doing stuff, so I guess they're preemptively just making it so we can't play this. Instead, probably play some of the new stuff that they're making. Uh, but that is actually banned now. Um, next up, we have the Sky Striker Ace Kagari. Okay, I've been, I've been sick of the Sky Strikers for a while. Um, same thing with kind of the danger, so I'm okay with this change, but let me know, guys, how you feel about this list already by just seeing it. Um, next up, dude, oh, dude, I actually really like this change. Uh, so next up, not Nagdakusu Emerald, Natria Beast over here. Um, that's a really good change, in my personal opinion, uh, because I don't like it when my opponent can shut down one entire mechanic of a deck, and especially because if you can Natria Beast plus have, like, one negate, like, it's a very difficult situation for most players to compete with. So I totally get this change, and I like that change personally. Um, but you guys can let me know how you feel about Nishiri Beast. I think that card had it coming though, let's be honest here. Alright, next up dude, our first exit that is banned is S-Zero Utopia. Is Konami watching my videos too? Nishiri Beast, you hit the Zafrano and you hit the S-Zero. Um, there's a um, Time Thief build where you can S-Zero lock them out of Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, this card, I mean, if they're banned Nishiri Beast, I think this card had to go before that because it's like a Rongo Bongo, like number 86. It's it's really not that fun to, uh, you know, not be able to use any of your Yu-Gi-Oh cards, because that's literally what S-Zero does, and you can use one card to make it. That's a good change. I think that so far, this is not looking too bad. Wow, dude, speaking of not looking too bad at all, Card of Demise! That's a new card that's gone. I never liked playing these. It was always an FTK's cheese things. This is, uh, yeah, I think this is healthy for the game, but of course, you know, there are People that like to play troll decks, that like to play the final countdown, and this obviously makes those less viable now in the game. But uh, anyways, next up over here, uh, for other things that are banned, wow, they hit engage too. Uh, I thought they were gonna, um... Okay, oh wait, the other, uh, the Phantom Knight thing, okay. Well first off, engage is not banned, like Sky Strikers, good luck dude, good luck playing that. Um, I know some people will still try. Regardless of how hit hard they hit the deck, I want to know at this point, guys, do you guys think Sky Strikers are viable or do you guys think is done? I mean, Kagari and Engage, and obviously they have uh, the Hornet drones, unless that, that card, I believe, is still at one. Uh, I'll scroll down, we'll get to it. Maybe it's changed, but I'm pretty sure that card is probably still going to stay at uh, one. But uh, yeah, they just completely banned that card. All right, next up, the Phantom Knights Rank Up Magic Launch. This card was OP already. Right, so many Raid Raptor variants to just go into, like, just crazy plays of 
cards that you're like not supposed to make in that deck, you just make them and it's like an auto win. Um, granted, it is um, another uh, decent uh, change to this list. I think so far, I'm pretty satisfied with uh, this list. But anyways, next up, uh, as far as uh, limited to one. Oh shoot, I didn't even notice that. Jin, Jin is here. Yo, Patrick Hoban, where you at? Come back to the game now, my brother. You can side deck that Jin. That's still one of my favorite things that I've ever seen in Yu-Gi-Oh. The Jin releaser of rituals is back in the game. Okay, so this makes a little bit more sense because I mentioned how uh, in dual power they're reprinting the Necros stuff, but then they hit Manju, which didn't make sense. But then they're bringing back the Jin, so it's kind of like a give and take. I, I mean, I, you you were you were doing good. I'll admit you you hit the you hit the the S zero. You hit the Naturia Beast, and then you put back a card that locks someone out of playing the game. I don't like those changes. Um, let me know how you guys feel about Jin coming back into the game. I never like, again, when things shut down mechanics of the game. Like, it's just, it's like, like you can't play. Like, every deck needs a special summon. Oh, speaking of special summons, yo, Baxi. Ow. You hit. Okay. The <laughs> All right, so they hit Ash Blossom, but like, like okay, yeah, we're going to go ahead and put back Maxi. We had three Ash, and you're gonna give us one Max C. Really? I don't know. I mean, I've always felt like... <sighs> the problem with putting Max C as one is, like, if I draw it, like, everybody's special summoning, right? In 2019, every deck needs a special summon 50 times. I feel like putting Max C back in the game at one makes it so the player that opens up with it has such a huge advantage. Like, like opening up with Reborn is still really strong in Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, but it was it was way stronger like back in the day when it was a lot slower. But Max C's on like another level. Like your opponent can't make moves sometimes uh, because you Max C them. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, but again, you guys can let me know. Do you guys like Max C at three? Or is it at one good? Is it two good? Or is, is it better if it's banned? I mean, I just feel like it, it, they did do a give and take, but like they took more than they gave, you know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, that is that is the change. Wow. Wow, our wild card. I mean, pe people didn't believe when Snatch was coming back, but Yadagorasu, guys, is back in the game at one. Okay? I mean, if you guys are new to the channel here, by the way, I will get you guys some Yadagorasu locks. So if you're new to the channel and want to see that, hit that subscribe button. And next week, when, of course, uh, that comes out, we will get you guys gameplay footage of uh, a Yadagorasu lock in 2019. It's pretty difficult to pull off uh, because just the game has gotten so much faster. I mean, I guess you can yada and then link into what's yada level one. You can yada. I, I'm pretty sure it's level one. Um, you could maybe go into like link every. I don't know. Like it, it's no better than like just like a one hit spirit reaper. At least that's how I personally feel with Yadagarasu. But I know someone's gonna make some lock. Uh, send in some replays of some Yadagarasu locks next week, boys, because I know that's a very iconic Yu-Gi-Oh card. And coming back in the game, I don't think it's gonna be doing anything. I made a video with Thousand Eyes for Strix saying like, you know, that card is it's not even that good in this day and age and then it came back and then it's not really not that big of a deal uh, next up uh deadlong oh i didn't even notice that up there but it, it, it is way better i've even mentioned that in another video before um and what the heck are they doing konami dude like you were doing good with the, the, the lockdowns and then you're like oh shock master bring our free the shock master free our boy the shock lock is back boys um that's annoying i mean True Natria Beast, like, stops all spells. This, you get to pick one, but, like, you literally just pick monster effects and your opponent just goes, okay, your turn. <laughs> like, that, that's a pretty, I would say that's a shock. I mean, no pun intended. Like, I, I don't think unlocking the shock was a smart move. I mean, again, it's like one step back, uh, one step forward, two steps back, Kappa. Because, like, if you know what you're playing against, and 99% of the time you just hit monsters. I don't like that change, but, again, you guys comment down below. And then they also broke our changes hard. What are you doing, dude? Why would you just bring back Change Your Heart? I mean, I mean, okay, they brought back Stash, so everyone complained about it, and then they banned it. So, okay, Change Your Heart, I'll see you for one format, and uh, I'll see you banned in a, a couple months. I, I guarantee you, calling it right now, they're reprinting Change Your Heart, and a rod is coming out, and it's going to be terrible. All right, and uh, let's see, Emergency Tell. I thought, I was thinking that this card would go up in, in Change, um, but it uh, looks like that's, that's it. We got... Uh, Semi-limited, nothing has changed, and lastly we have our Insector. Dragonfly at three, it was limited. All right, so Insectors haven't been doing stuff. Let's go ahead and do a recap real quick. 
of what decks will be good now after seeing this list and then obviously my thoughts and again if you want to check it out it's just up over here and I'll, I'll link it down below but wow crazy list let me know first off if you guys like this list or if you hate it but as far as what's viable in the game like orcas danger variants will be nerfed but i still think you can play them i think thunder dragons are looking really good salomon greats looking really good prank kids looking really good uh alter guys also looking pretty strong coming into the next ban list uh, of course but uh i want to know what you guys think down below uh, what what's going to be the top decks now that ash is completely gone do you know how good mermails are <laughs> like you got oh called called hasn't been changed either right like i sometimes i i skip over stuff so i want to double check on that and i need to tell you guys it's a prank bro so yeah this is april fools i gotcha uh but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the quick prank yeah so i just need to let you guys know as a heads up this whole thing is a fake ban list it's not real it took us a long time to make it. Obviously, it looks super legit, but I have to mention this at the end of the video because normally with pranks, I just let it go on. Uh, but of course, because some people could be looking at buying and selling cards, you know, I got to look out for the Yu-Gi-Oh! community here. So do not buy or sell any of these cards on this list. This is an April Fool's video. If uh, any of you guys are from OCG, uh, on April 1st, we do a prank. So it's just this whole this there's there's no ban list guys There's no ban list. It's a prank. They even said it wasn't gonna be updated But you clicked on the video anyways cuz I want a new ban list too I want to see it, but uh, it's a crazy list still nonetheless, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it Let me know if you uh, got pranked and where did you if you were like dude? I didn't get pranked at all how did you guys know? Did you guys know because Konami said they weren't going to up update it until later? Or did you see something you're like, dude, there's no way they would ban Manju. But like, I thought that was a high IQ play. But anyways, share it if you guys want to. Prank some of your friends. See what they say because uh, you know, I think it's all good. It's some good old tomfoolery over here. I love seeing what uh, people say because last year, dude, that, that video, so many people were arguing about it being fake. They're like, nah, dude, it's on the official list. Check it yourself. And they were like, no, you're stupid. And then they would go ahead and argue and I love it. But anyways, let me know guys what you would have changed on this list, even if it's for a prank or not. I I, I, I try to make these lists look legit because I was, I was I'm debating on a banning uh, I blue eyes just because at that point people would be like what but uh, I think that, that would have been too far man it would have gone too far but uh, anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did drop a like on it and if you're new to the channel here would like to see more Yu-Gi-Oh content as well as Yu-Gi-Oh pranks hit the subscribe button and you'll definitely see more but thanks for watching happy April Fools guys and I'll see you guys next year for some more tomfoolery peace